So a few days ago, fucking Thunderfoot reacted to Veritasium. Busted! Veritasium busted! And instantly, holy shit. Massive facepalm moment. Okay. I'm not a fan. I don't like either of these channels, really. But one of them I massively respect much more than the other one. Right. I bet you can guess which one I have much more respect for. <sighs> okay, so like Veritasium, I'm not a fan mostly because of the style, the way that it's presented. It's basically like sixth grade book reports loosely connected to scientific subjects. Okay. The the way things are described is very shallow. Uh the presenter doesn't necessarily understand what is actually being said, right? But, but the people of Veritasium are actually going out and trying. Like, they're genuinely putting effort in. So, I have respect for that, okay? Like, I don't like, I don't enjoy the content. I, I find it difficult to watch because it's like, it's like watching elementary or middle school students trying to talk about science. Like, it's awkward, okay? <clears throat> but that has a valid audience. Like, that's a valid, <laughs> right? This is a valid platform. This is a valid, you know. Very tas or um, Thunderfoot, on the other hand. Fucking hell. Thunderfoot, on the other hand, just comes in and... He never says anything. He never tells you anything of content. He just says, he just like restates what the, the claim is and then says, no, busted. That's all he does. All of his videos, that's all he does. And I know other people see this and have called him out on this bullshit because I've actually, so there's some videos where he'll, He's shown comments, right? And if you read those comments, they're saying basically what I'm saying. That Thunderfoot is full of shit. And not actually saying anything of content. Not saying anything worth hearing. Not saying anything worth saying. And that's in contrast to Veritasium. Veritasium is saying things in kind of a childish style. But the content is... Even, <clears throat> even when it's wrong, okay? And sure, it is plenty of the time. Anybody saying things is going to be wrong plenty of the time. But... Like, they're trying. They're putting effort into it, okay? Thunderfoot is absolutely not. Thunderfoot is sitting there saying, no, 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 no. I disagree, I disagree, I disagree, I disagree. And when he encounters criticism, what he does is he just absolutely dismisses it out of hand like the solipsistic sack of shit that he is. He doesn't comprehend that other people exist, that other people can validly disagree with him, and actually be wrong themselves. Like, he doesn't understand how that works. <laughs> being right without a reason is is garbage it's 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 worse than being wrong with a reason right so if you believe the wrong thing but there's reasons that you believe this like you can actually say this is you know this is why i believe this that's better because now what we can do is we can look at that in detail, your reasons, and say, okay, well, I, I, I see why you drew this conclusion, but there's some mistakes in your reasoning here, and we can analyze that, and we can look into it deeper, and, right? Thunderfoot seems to be one of these people who, like, thinks that Anybody who believes things that he doesn't believe are just irrational. That's not how it works. Any belief that anybody holds 
is going to be rational. It's going to, there's a reason for it. There's a reason they believe this. Okay. And it could be wrong reasons. That's, but you're never going to convince them to change their mind and perhaps come to a better understanding if all you're doing is calling them stupid, which is what fucking Thunderfoot does. He doesn't provide reasons. He doesn't try to understand why people think the things they do. He just says, no, 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 and then declares that it's busted. Like, no, jackass. You didn't do anything. Veritasium, on the other hand, does. Veritasium goes out and they try to understand the problem and they try to explain it to the best of their ability. And that deserves some respect. <laughs> right? Okay. So, like, a case in point of, you know, mistakes being made. Four reasons and then... So, a few days ago, I was talking about my Volvo, my the engine in my Volvo, and... Um, putting a little, uh, kind of carburating one of the vacuum lines. And I said, there was several slip-ups I made in that. Um, but I, I said that the engine was direct injected, not port injected. And that is false. It is port injected. I know that now because I've taken apart the, en the, the engine a little bit more in detail. It is port injected, so I was wrong. But there's a reason that I thought it was direct injected, and that is the location of the injectors. They're like right up against the 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 head. They're on the block, okay. And there's two fuel pumps. There's a low pressure in tank fuel pump and a high pressure fuel pump. Typically, when you have that set up, it's a direct injected engine, right? If you just naively look up how a direct injection engine looks it looks like what's happening in in my engine so that's that's where that came from there's a reason that i thought that but i was wrong but it doesn't actually change what happened because the thing that i wanted to do with the the vacuum carburetor was <clears throat> clean out the the intake manifold before the injectors and that worked that happened it happened so well that it broke other parts of the engine <laughs> right? i actually i was briefly it, it it yeah after a few days of running this maybe about a week of running it uh i i was i, I was feeling you know every single day I'm, I'm feeling increases in in the power that it's producing. It's like, okay, okay. So I come in and I, uh, I'm adjusting the throttle because it had been... Basically, like, I had detuned it so that it would run as well as I could get it to run for how I needed it to run based on all of the problems that the engine was having. So now that this is better, this is working better, I can sort of you know, readjust things a little bit. And one of the main thing that I was adjusting was the, uh, the throttle position. And that allowed me to rev the engine while it's just sitting there, um, high enough that it actually just sucked all of the crap that was in the intake manifold, all the like grease and oil and stuff. It had all been like saturated now with gasoline and, and loosened. So that when you get good airflow, it, it, it sucked it in and blew it out the exhaust. Like if you were to clean your intake manifolds with seafoam, which was kind of the idea. Okay, So it did this. It worked. It worked, and suddenly it's breathing really, really well. And it, you know, it revs up a lot more without me even adding more throttle input. And this all happened in just... A second or something like my my response time wasn't quick enough to to get it to to come back down, and it revved so high that it actually uh, caused damage to the alternator and the electrical system. So later that night, I ended up um, walking home <laughs> about eleven, a little bit after eleven. Um, I started walking home. 
about seven miles away, and got home, went to bed, got up in the morning, drove my other car out there, tinkering with it, you know. It caused me problems, right? But the basic thing that I wanted to accomplish with that, that carburetor on the vacuum line worked. Even though I was wrong about how the injection system works. Okay. So this is an example of how it's okay to be wrong. And it's much better to be wrong with a reason that you can then analyze and come back to and be like, oh shit, okay, it isn't what I thought than it is to just go around pronouncing yourself correct about everything, which is what Thunderflip does. I've not watched the entire 32 minutes of this frogman criticizing Veritasium, and I'm not going to, because I've, I'm familiar enough with Thunderfoot's style of criticism that that's not worth it to me. If he changed his style for this particular video, and it is much more reasonable, good. Good on him. If it's his same old style, which I think it's gonna be, where he's just like, no, 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 no. And he doesn't actually explain jack shit. Well. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what I expect. Because that's how he always acts. It, it would be surprising if he's doing something different. So there's no point in me watching this. Because the best case scenario, I'm going to see him not be a jackass. And the most likely scenario, I'm going to see him be a jackass. And I don't really care to see that. I'm not interested enough in this narcissistic little man's ego to play that game. I don't care. But, no, I, I don't know. I think it's funny that, that this is even a thing. That this is... What? What the fuck? Veritasium busted! Like, all of his videos busted! Like, he's four! Like, come on, dude. What are you doing? Who is your audience? He's clearly pandering to somebody. Himself, mostly. But... Like, what kind of a person views this content as worthwhile? He's got a shit ton of subscribers, so... It's somebody... Damn. What the fuck? But yeah, in comparison, mad respect for Veritasium. No respect for Thunderfoot. I don't think he has any integrity. I don't think he says anything that's worth listening to. I don't think he says anything that's even worth saying in the first place. Other than, you know, he's just sitting there. You know, yeah. <laughs> the analogy I was going to say, uh, probably inappropriate. And this is from the guy who casually says all kinds of bullshit, so you can imagine. Anyway. <laughs>